Over to you. Hi, my name is George McGuire, working with uh, Breno on the LMIS. and very honored to present right after Marta. So I'm just going to show uh, one slide and then give a very short live demo. So we're very happy to introduce the real-time stock management module that was specifically designed uh, for logistics management, which allows real-time stock management at healthcare facility level. So we are talking about uh, community health workers, dispensaries, or pharmacies, and it is not intended for, for medical stores and warehouses. So it's not, re not replacing LMI software. It provides barcode scanner support that I will um, present. We have currently three workflows, distribution, um, discard correction, and uh, very exciting. Now we have a real-time uh, timestamp, so you can actually have an exact record of when the distribution was made on a mobile device, even if the mobile device is offline. So native offline capability is really important. So you don't have to have a internet connection at the time of uh, caring of using the app. Of course, you eventually have to um, synchronize the mobile device, but you can do that. Uh, we recommend that you do it at least um, once a day, but you are not blocked from using the app if the Wi-Fi of the internet connection is poor and you can just continue with your work and then complete it once the network is restored. And our recommended way of using this app is you can use it standalone, but we recommend to integrate it with an upstream national ELMS. And especially for having the automatic stock received in case you were wondering. So when you ship stocks from the warehouse to the facility, that you can actually uh, update your stock on hand automatically from the upstream LMS. So, and this slide very briefly, just to stress again, that this is the overall concept to use this app really at the last mile, as we call it, the, the hospital, the community health worker, or at the dispensary and not at uh, upstream stores. So with that, I'm going to change my screen to the actual mobile app. So as Marta just explained, you can see here the real-time stock management on top. It looks like any other uh, program, uh, DHS2 program, but because of the use case app that uh, Marta just explained, when you tap on it, it actually uses a dedicated uh, user interface. So I'm just going to show the most uh, common features. So there are three, you basically have three options. You can uh, discard stock. That means that if, you, if the stock is expired, or let's say you have a vaccine that was damaged um, from the failure of, the, of your cold chain, then you might you will have to remove it from the stock and you have to update your stock. And you can do that by entering a stock um, a discard and you have then a record. The other option is to have a stock correction. So sooner or later, you might have a discrepancy between the stock on your shelf and the stock as recorded in the app because some kind of mistake was made. And you can correct that with this, um, with this stock correction menu. And you can say it beautifully changes the background color so that the user is always sure uh, what transaction they are working on and um, don't uh, confuse it. So the most common transaction, hopefully, is the distribution. That means that um, a nurse or uh, another uh, healthcare worker, let's say, from the pediatric ward will present to the central pharmacy once a day or once a week with a list of items. And I'm the storekeeper and need to prepare the stocks and issue it to the pediatric ward. So I will select distribution. Mahasat is going to appear by default because I have access only to this health, to this organization unit. If, uh, of course, you can also configure having the whole organization unit tree and selecting um, an OU if you are assigned to several of them. And then there, Basically, as a user, you only have one selection to make, and that is this drop-down menu of Deliver To. So this is a list of the wards and facilities that you're distributing to and that will appear in your reports and your uh, digital stock card. So this is a list that is customized with an option set. So this is a, a recommendation or it's an available list, but you can change it simply in the option set. So that makes the application uh, very flexible because you can just adapt it to your needs. So we said I had a request from the pediatric ward, which I'm going to select here. And it will 
now display the list of items that I have in stock. I can collapse the header. I don't no longer need to edit it. It will still, everything will appear on the top. You see distribution, very small Mahasot pediatric department. So the user always knows exactly what transaction they are working on. So now I have a list of my entire stock um, that you can um, configure you, as needed. So you can use the item description used in, in the country. You can use any kind of coding system that is being used. You can scroll up up and down the list. And let's say I'm going to tap on the poorest in need. And you see that the stock is 1,290. And I'm going to select now 90 and tap in the next field or um, on the confirm button. And you can see that the stock on hand has changed from 1,290 to 1,200. So that's why we call it the real-time st uh, stock system application, because the system will recalculate the current stock in real time and anybody who has access to the to the data provided the mobile device is synchronized can view this updated data. So you have three ways of search of looking for the items, selecting the items, you can make a search, which I will not show now. You can just scroll up and down the list and enter uh, values. I'm going to um, enter another value, let's say for Alben, that's all. I'm going to enter 50, tap on the next screen. It will again change the stock on hand to 850. I just want to show that, of course, if you make a mistake, you can always go back and you can correct the number or if it's, you found that it's a wrong item, you can always delete it completely. But the preferred way of actually selecting the item is that you label all your items in the pharmacy with a barcode. So this has been done actually in the field in, uh, in several places and works very well. So I'm going to so I'm going to go back and show you. Um, I'm going to open the little icon which is opens the barcode scanner, and I have prepared here three barcodes. So the first one is paracetamol. Um, it will beep probably you didn't hear it, and it will bring up only the paracetamol. So you can see it here the description, and that's very convenient because it prevents the storekeeper from entering numbers in the wrong field. And you see as you type, you have a, a separate user interface opening here with the full length of the of the description and um, the interface for entering the, the quantity. If you enter a quantity that is larger than is in stock, you will get a warning. So I'll, I'll confirm this uh, 200 now. Again, you see that uh, stock on hand is updated to 8,500. I'm going to open the barcode scanner for the, for the second item, uh, which is folic acid. So the barcode scanner has recognized the item. I'm going to take 400 of those. And I'm going to select the last item with my barcode scanner. You see that we have tried to make it really as simple as possible. The fewer clicks, the fewer options, the easier and more convenient for the storekeeper to use. I'm going to select 100. That was my last item. Now, let's say I have selected the three items that have been requested from the pediatric ward. I want to double check my list. So I'm going to go on the review uh, screen. So you see there's actually only two interfaces, one for selecting the item and then for the review. So these are the four items that I uh, have selected. I can still edit them. I can uh, delete the quantity entirely or change the quantity and can check it against the items that I have picked and against the list that I received from the pediatric ward. And once I'm happy with the result, you can see that it says under review so that I know that this is like the final uh, state. I click on confirm and that will complete the transactions. So my mobile phone is a bit slow. It tells me here that the transaction was successfully completed. Now it's important to uh, synchronize the, the transaction. So I'm going back to the main screen. You can see this gray um, double arrow. That means that there's data is synchronized. I'm going to tap on it. And you have just seen it in a demo format. So this is a new synchronization interface. And you can see that the synchronization error has disappeared. That means that the synchronization was successful. And um, now the data is synchronized with the server. So there, is, there are many visualizations that are available. I'm just going to show one of them, which is the, the line listing in the uh, okay, I'm sorry. Up 
apologies. I just have to run the, um, the analytics table for updating the line listing so I can show you the actual transactions. In the meantime, so this is basically the digital stock card that is um, intended to replace the, the paper stock card that is used in the pharmacy. So you can see the organization unit, which was, which was Mahasot. These are entries from, from the morning. You can see um, where the goods have been delivered to the item, the previous stock balance, the stock that was distributed and the final stock. It doesn't look very spectacular, but keep in mind that now you can basically, all you need to do is to take the goods off the shelf, scan the barcode, enter the quantity, and you will have your monthly, you will have your stock card reporting uh, directly in DHIS2. And you will also, there's an also a re aggregated report, like a monthly report that will show you the total distribution by department and so on. So I'm going to check if this just wanted to show you the actual transactions that we just conducted with the update and find it. Yeah. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to filter by the, um, yeah. So you can, can see these are the, uh, these are actually the item, items I demo, I created earlier. So you can see that these are the, the transactions from, um, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I'll leave it like that. I, I didn't manage to show the, actual transactions, sorry for that. Um, thank you very much, George. That was that was a great presentation of the LMS module in the Android Capture app. Really excited to see use case specific flows uh, coming to uh, to DHIS2, in particular in the Android Capture app, but we'll see more and more uh, um, situations where uh, the interface and the, the user flows can be tailored to different use cases. So really excited to see that moving forward.